Around comes to current day cap and trade. They desperately needed the cap and trade money. They used to say that cap and trade would be a backstop. It would maybe help them later on because it was going to be such a great environmentally friendly project. But um, uh, as we know, uh, there are there are two lawsuits that are working on that. One is that it just doesn't deserve uh, the funding because it won't be environmentally beneficial for 20 to 30 years and that's if they build the whole 300 miles for the first segment and they don't have the money. They have only uh, like less than 20 percent of the money to build it. So if everything went according to plan and they had the money, they would not have that uh, thing ready to go until 2021, operational 2022 and the um, environment, the cap and trade law, which was called um, AB 32, I believe, uh, they say that it has to be contributing to the reduction of greenhouse gases by 2020. So it, it's not even going to be finished if they have every dime of the money to build it. So how can that be a good um, a good way to spend cap and trade money when there's so many other projects. The senator who sponsored AB 32 was Senator Fran Pavley and she did not vote. She abstained. And, and I don't know why she abstained. She didn't like the percentages that was given. High Speed Rail was eventually given $250 million and they were given a four, one-time $400 million um, amount that was some loan that Jerry Brown took um, for the general fund. So this year they're going to have $650 million. So the first thing they have to do, they promised the Senate that they would spend it, you know, more wisely. They'd spend it on the bookends. They'd, they'd have a new segment called Burbank to Palmdale. Well, they don't have the money for that. They don't have the money for the first segment. 